Hi all folks, this is Max from Galaxy S2 Root.com. So today I'm going to show you how to unroot your phone. Um, what you will want to do is connect it to your computer um, via a USB cable. This is uh, for Windows only. Um, I mean, you can use it for, um, you can do it using um, Heimdall for Mac or Linux. I'll have instructions on that too. Um, so hold down volume up and volume down in the power button while it's connected via USB cable. That will get you into download mode. And you'll see a warning sign. And then hit the volume up. So you'll be in download mode. And then let's go to our phone. Um, next, um, you're going to go to your computer, sorry. Uh, and uh, this is going to erase everything, just, you know. So just. So you know, use a titanium backup to back up your apps, or you can also use a Clockwork Mod Recovery to uh, save your whole ROM. Uh, maybe you're gonna get a new phone, and then you can restore your whole ROM uh, after rooting it, your new phone um, using Clockwork Mod Recovery. So it's all on my site, GalaxyS2Root.com. Um, so next, what you're gonna do is download ATT Galaxy S2 Unroot.zip. And if you unzip it, you'll find Odin and the uh, unrooting files. So simply run Odin. And I'm assuming that you have um, the drivers installed. If you don't, just download keys and install the Samsung key software and you'll have uh, drivers installed. And you'll get that if you have the correct drivers installed. Right. And then we're going to choose PDA. And we're going to go to ATT Galaxy S2 Unroot, the folder, and choose the uh, ATT Galaxy on S2 Unroot SGH-I77.tar. Zoom in for you that one. All right. Hit OK. And let me adjust the camera here. And hit Start. And this will basically install a uh, factory image and basically unroot your phone completely. It should take like 10 minutes, so you'll see the progress. And make sure you have enough battery when you do this. Um, this is kind of important. So I'll be back when this is done. So it's done, and my phone is now rebooting. As you can see, I've got the original boot up screen back, um, which means my phone has been unrooted. Um, I'll show you that it's, well, let me put it there. Now I got the uh, stock animation, and I used to have a stock ROM on there. So this one, it just completely brings you back to a stock phone. I believe 2.3.4. It should work, even if you're on a future version, because it uses Odin. So I'll be back when it completely boots up. Hi right, folks, I reboot it. Um, seems like I still have my apps and stuff. So we're gonna do a final, final um, change. Let's see on settings here. Let's see about phone. I'm back to 2.3.4. Everything stock. Um, so you can do a factory reset. Oh, actually, you know what? You might be able to do it in here. You don't need this anymore. Um, that is. Where's close? All right, just do um, hold down volume up and down and the power button. We're gonna try to get into stock recovery and just do a factory reset. So our all our personal data is erased. And if for some reason you're stuck in boot loop, then do this too. It'll fix it. And you'll get this uh, logo thing here. And you'll get the blue menus. Right? Go down to uh, wipe data factory reset. I think it's the power button. Yes. And go down to yes. Uh, delete all user data. Yes. And this will format um, your data and which is your um, personal files and stuff. And then reboot system now. And you should have a completely stock, unrooted uh, phone. And this is also how you unbrick your phone if for some reason you did something wrong. Um, so I'll be back when this completely reboots.
Hello folks, so as you can see I've got it back to complete uh, day one and um, let me skip all this just to show you uh, everything's stock, as you can see everything's completely stock um, cancel and everything's working just I don't have all my stuff anymore um, and also your internal storage if you go to my files you should still have everything that you have in your inter internal storage so make sure you back up everything you want to you can just back up the whole SD card um, or whatever and then just erase it and then take it back to AT&T for a new phone or whatever you're gonna get a, another phone so that's how you unroot your AT&T Galaxy S2 the SGH i777 model this is only for AT&T Galaxy S2 and you lose everything um, but I've backed up all my stuff I'll show you um, clockwork mod backup I use my clockwork mod right back up to recover uh, one two three four five six different ROMs and also you can back that up into your hard disk and copy it back into your phone later and also if you go to I have also got titanium backup which backed up uh, all my apps so when I get a new phone I can just copy the titanium folder titanium backup folder over back to my internal storage and I can restore everything so that's the way to go anyway thanks y'all subscribe